With me today is Chef Mike DiPaolo, who's going to cook something very near and dear to his heart, and it's named after a very special person, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. My lovely wife, Patricia. That's right. So, so today we're going to be doing uh, tortellini with uh, Cajun chicken and pasta Patricia. Ready? Nice. Very Let's nice. Let's get it rolling. First, we're going to start off with a little olive oil. And the chicken. Nice boneless, skinless chicken breast that we... Uh, Cut up into nice little strips there. Nice, quick, easy saute. Okay. okay. First, we want to do is because we're doing Cajun chicken, we're going to do a little Cajun spice. So you carefully measure that out, am I right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. You know, it's about seven now, now remember, this, this dish is after Patricia, and she loves Cajun. So a little bit extra just for my honey. She's hot and spicy too. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This is a nice little Teflon pan. One nice thing about it is when you're putting any seasonings or spices in there, it tends to make it stick better to the food instead of to the pan. So it's really, you get a full use of uh, your spices. And you want to get yourself a nice pan. The heavy bottom, it holds the heat. Our pans are brought to you by Buffalo Hotel Supply. Buffalo Hotel Supply, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay, just a little bit longer here. Uh, today the pasta we're using is being tortellini and it's a cheese filled tortellini. You can use any type of pasta. What you want to always keep in mind is if you're going to use like a, a short, smaller pasta, use some like a julienne stripped vegetable so you get that contrast in sizes. It's just better when at the end of the dish for the uh, plate presentation. Nice. Okay, Marco, we're going to take this here now. We're going to put this into the oven, let it finish cooking in the oven. Let me throw it in, Chef. Okay, Good. thanks, okay. Marco. You're welcome. Okay, next we're gonna get started. A little bit more olive oil into our pan. Okay. Some fresh chopped garlic. Again, we're measuring the garlic. Is that all you're gonna put in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got the garlic. Next, we wanna put in our carrots. These are uh, pre cooked. I blanched them off, chilled them. I wanna put the carrots in first because they're gonna take a little bit longer to heat up. The rest of the items will heat up pretty quickly as we're sauteing. Now we put the tortellini in. Now we put the Very tortellini nice. in. Okay. Now a little artichoke hearts. Okay, next a little roasted red pepper. Nice. You can see the color starting to come in these dishes real nice. Okay, a little spinach. Now you can use fresh spinach, frozen spinach, <coughs> leaves. And here we have a nice little uh, chopped spinach. You want to drain out your spinach after it's defrosted so that you get all the water out of it so that your dish doesn't get all soupy. Okay, next uh, we're going to put a little bit of Cajun spice in here. Okay. Just to kind of give it a little bit more flavor. <laughs> For Patricia. It was a little light. <laughs> Next, we're going to put a little bit of white wine. Nice Pinot Grigio. Any kind of white wine will do, though. Oh, absolutely. Your, your own, that's your own personal preference. Okay. If you want to use a little Chardonnay or Chablis. Okay. Okay. It smells amazing. Now, we're going to add a little bit of chicken stock to this. Because when we went to the pasta, you want to have a little bit of juice. When we put it in a bowl, you want a little bit, almost uh, like a broth, uh, but not a soup or stew or anything, but just okay. a little bit of chicken stock. Because once you cook the pasta and you add the pasta to your dish, it's going to absorb the juices and take on the flavor that's in the pan. Okay. There you go. Now, take the pasta. Oh, now, when the tortellini good. floats, you know it's done. It only takes a few yeah. minutes, three, four minutes at right. the moment. Absolutely. You don't want to overcook it, then they start breaking apart and the cheese falls out. It is, this is pretty full. You want to do this one? I don't know. Uh -huh. You going to let me? Uh -huh. go, ahead. Get a, go ahead. Go ahead. I can do this. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. nice. Huh? A family restaurant with a gourmet flair, it doesn't... Get any better than this? Marco, Marco, don't talk with your mouth full. Ilya DePaulo's Restaurant, 3785 South Park Avenue, Blaisdell. Come dine with us.